All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making Indian corn uh, with their husk, and we're gonna make it pretty decorative and colorful. So let's get going. All right, you've probably seen these types of uh, decorative corn before, either in photographs or uh, people decorating their house with them. And I thought it would be really cool to draw, and I found some examples online uh, from kids that have done it, just like how you guys are. And I thought these examples were pretty cool, so I have these ones right here. It looks like they're done with like squares. And these ones right here, they're actually physically drawn. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the corn itself, we're gonna draw the sections where you color it, and then we'll draw the husks on top. So that's that. So let's get going. All you're gonna need is a piece of paper and some color materials. So let's get going. Um, I'm gonna use pencil first because I want to make sure I get the gist, the gist of the shape that I want. And I want to go at a diagonal. That way it's not so boring. Um, but these ones went vertical and that's fine too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw um, the corn first. And I think it's gonna be kind of like an oval shape except on the top of the oval it kind of tapers off at the end. Just like so, just like this. And then uh, you want to leave room for the husk. But for us, um, I'm going to make mine go off the page a little bit, just like this. So it's going to kind of go wrinkly off, kind of like that. Kind of goes off in different directions, kind of like this. All right, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to make the rows, such as making a grid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line down the middle first. And then I'm gonna space them out pretty evenly, like about like a half inch apart, just like so. And then I'm gonna start curving my lines from up. Actually, no, I'm gonna do a straight line down the middle. And then I'm gonna kind of go up towards the husk. And as I get close to the top, I'm gonna start curving my lines a little bit. And then as I go down, I'm gonna start curving my lines the opposite way just like so. And this way closer and closer together. There we are. Okay, this is a pretty good job so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try my best to outline it as best as possible. So instead of doing the outlines, I'm gonna use these lines as guidelines to make little bumps to resemble the corn. So I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna make a little tad bit bump right there and there. I'm just gonna keep going down the line until I reach the other end by where the husk is on top. So, so keep going around. Try to guess where these other lines are because I didn't go all the way up. There we are. Oh, I need to get a new sharpie. There we are, and on top. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch markers because this marker is about to um, gone out, so I will get a new one right here, and then I'm gonna start tracing my uh, lines I did earlier. So I'm glad I did it in pencil, but thankfully I didn't mess up too much. So I'm gonna start get my lines. As you can see, towards the middle, the lines are more straight, but as the lines get closer and closer to either side, they curve. And that's good because curving makes it look more three-dimensional. All right, we're done there. Now let's do a line all the way down the middle. And then there is more lines here and there. And there should be another one right there. Great. Um, now I'm going to do the corn husk. I'm going to do the corn husk in a different color though. I'm going to do it in like a dark orange. I'm just going to start tracing these all up, just like so. And the reason why I'm not using a black marker is because they're kind of faint in color, and I want to make sure I represent that properly. And with that said, I'm going to take a very, very light peach or brown. I'm going to shade that in uh, different colors, just like so. So we'll do that. And it'll do some of this color. Maybe I shall do more of a faded brown. This one. And that should 
cover the husk pretty well. There we are. Okay, and then I'm just gonna glaze over it with a yellow a little bit. There you go. Just all over the place. Just give it a little more of a glow. Okay, there is the corn husk. If you don't know what the corn husk is, it's the part that covers this portion. It's just kind of like pulled or peeled up. So that's that. All right, it's looking very similar to the ones that we have here as examples. You just can't see the top. The reason why I didn't draw the top is because it's a pretty big corn husk. So now comes the fun part. All you gotta do is make sure, you can make, come and make a game out of it. All you gotta do is make sure colors are not touching each other side by side or from up and down. They can be the same color from diagonally, uh, like this, but they can't be next to each other. So this might take me a while, but my biggest suggestion I would do is just to take one color and just kind of like evenly spread it like how I am all over the place on the corn. And that way you at least get good coverage of that one color. And then once you're done and you have good coverage, then uh, you can switch colors if you'd like. So right now I'm gonna try to use this color as best or as much as I can and making sure I'm not doing a pattern because I wanna avoid doing a pattern. You don't want it to make it look like a checkerboard. So I'm trying to go as random as I can. So maybe they're touching, maybe they're not touching. Maybe they're touching, maybe they're not touching. There we go. Or maybe I should do one more right around here. All right, so let's switch to another color here. Oh, this gold one. Oldest color, so now I can go beside this one, but it can't be next to its own color. There we go. I'm gonna put a lot of this color everywhere because the corn is yellow, and I want to make sure I have a lot of this color in particular because it does have a fall vibe to this color, which I really like. All right, there we go. I think I'm ready to switch colors now. Maybe not. There's a lot of spots I want to kind of make yellow. Okay, maybe some up here too. Okay, uh, let's choose another color now. Why don't I do like a dark-ish color? Like this one. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, that's great. That's a great one. Great color choice. do more of a brownish color to round it off and I think that would be my best bet into finishing um, this artwork all right I left enough blanks here okay let's try to find a good colored brown all right I think I like this one and if you don't want to do fall colors, you don't have to. If you want to do colors of your choosing, you can do that too. All right, I'm almost done here. And again, you can do this in marker, crayon, color pencil, paint, charcoal, pastel. You can do this project in any form you want. It looks like I'm running into a problem already. I can't put any color that I have right now over here because uh, they're touching every single color there. So let's just choose a new color in here. How about this? There you go, that'll be our secret. <laughs> All right, so the project's already done. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it looks, it turned out better than I thought. Definitely looks better than these ones, in my opinion. And that's it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.